Hi everybody, it's Dr. Magnifico from Jerry's Vet and Pobbly.com. This is Dixie. She's a middle-aged Dalmatian. She came in because she started head shaking yesterday. If you watch my YouTube channel, I just did a video on my dog Jekyll, who's been doing some pretty violent head shaking. So she is shaking her head to the point where now she's got a hematoma. So there's a little bubble of blood and you can see the bruising. So this is how an ear hematoma or an oral hematoma forms. They shake their head so hard that in between the two um, sides of the ear pinna, which is the ear flap, they break the blood vessels and then they get this little blood pocket. At this point, because the pocket is palpable, we're going to put a drain in. Um, I also just gave her an injection of diphenhydramine, which is um, generic Benadryl, because she is shaking her head because her ears are really red. Um, so we are going to try to stop this allergic reaction that it looks like she's having because her ears are nice and clean otherwise. So it's not an ear infection, um, which is the other reason, and it's not trauma, meaning she hasn't just been bitten by a dog or she hasn't been, um, she didn't hit her head against a wall but this is you know exactly what an early oral hematoma looks like so for us we gave her an injection of diphenhydramine in the muscle we put some lidocaine gel on that ear flap to numb it and then these are really our tools so some suture material this is a teat cannula um, we use dr larson's plastic teat tube which is actually used for cows when they get mastitis um, there's a blade and then she's we've got some needle drivers and then a little bit of glue so we are going to put the teat cannula in her to allow that blood to drain she's going to go home with um, oral diphenhydramine to use for her uh, her allergic reaction to make sure she doesn't get red ears. If all else fails, we'll add a steroid on board too, just to help the inflammation. And then she's going to go home with an e-collar. This teat cannula will stay in for 21 days, um, and then we'll take it out. At our practice, this is about, I don't know, about a, maybe a $100 um, endeavor. The exam is $50. The numbing agent is like $15. And then I think putting the cannula in is like 40 or $60. So it's about a $100 deal. Um, the really important thing is to use your oral diphenhydramine before you get the oral hematoma. So use the use your over-the-counter antihistamine if your dog is having this as an allergic reaction. Now, if this is an ear infection or trauma, you know, you really can't get around those. Um, those you have to be have to be treated for the source but the, the big deal is to get this to turn around before they get a huge giant pillow pocket ear flap which takes even longer to resolve so you can see um, her underlying skin is pretty red if you look sort of right there see how red that skin is so that tells me this is most likely an allergic reaction and not from trauma and not from an ear infection so if you have any questions you reach me reach me anytime at jaredsvillevet or at pobbly.com take care say bye dixie